Osaka Osho, also known as the King of Gyoza, was established in 1969 by Mr. Shinzo Fumino in Osaka, Japan as a gyoza specialist. Over the years, Osaka Osho soon garnered a steady following of Japanese diners who grew to love its casual ambiance and irresistible dumplings. The menu then evolved to include Japanese Chinese favorites and today there are close to 400 outlets worldwide. Hi everybody, we're at Osaka Osho at SM City North Etsa specifically to try their uh, black truffle gyoza. This legendary Japanese restaurant was first brought to the Philippines in February 2014 at the SM Mega Mall by Linfred Yap and Wazer Ko, the Philippine master franchise owners of Winam Ki Hainanese Chicken, and have since expanded with the addition of this SM City North Edsa branch. As you may have seen from our previous feature, we weren't that impressed when they first opened their doors in 2014, as it did not compare to our Osaka experience. But as we haven't been back in four years, we were willing to give them another try. And glad that we did, as those truffle gyoza dumplings were a real treat. As with most Japanese restaurants, upon seating, you will be served with complimentary cold tea. We haven't been back to Osaka Osho in years since they first opened at SM Mega Mall. And I can't believe how big the menu has become. There's like practically 20 pages on the menu, so that's very interesting. Uh, we ordered quite a few dishes. Of course, the black truffle gyoza, as well as a few of their sets. Uh, I got the new dish, the salmon cheese aburi set, as well as the beef saikoro teppanyaki set. And uh, quite a few more dishes. So let's see how it is. What do you think, babe? Are you ready? I'm starving. Yeah. Right. How about you? Alexandra is like so hungry already. She's, she's very shy. She doesn't want to make friends. Look, look. You said you don't want to make friends with that person up there? How about you, bro? Are you hungry? Yeah. When was the last time you were at Osaka Osho? Oh, bro. It's very nice. Osaka Osho takes pride in serving the number one gyoza in the world. Their gyoza skin is thin but sturdy and made from Japanese flour. It is filled with the perfect amount of meat and cooked in a special gyoza griller until the searing sound is heard by their master chef. It looks like the truffle gyoza has arrived. We got 12 pieces. Uh, very aromatic. You can smell that uh, truffle oil a mile away. What do you think, bro? It's really good. It's pretty good song, this also. Okay, well, it comes with these uh, bonito flakes. Bonito flakes. Come with a bit of sauce. We'll have the next one with chili. Hmm. Wow, that is a very delicious gyozo. Good amount of truffle oil. It's not overpowering. And the wrapper is very thin and delicate, yet crispy. Because of course they do have the gyoza grillers here, you know, the real Japanese gyoza grillers. That is delicious. This is a must order. If you haven't tried gyoza with truffle oil, this is a place to go. Chicken's here. Aside from their truffle gyoza, we would also highly recommend their salmon cheese aburi set, tempura murayawase and the special Fuwatoro Tenshinhan, which is a super fluffy egg omelet wrapped around rice and smothered in special savory gravy sauce. If you want something more substantial than just gyoza, choose a Gohan set as it also comes with three pieces of their original gyoza.
So Oksana's working on the salmon aburi now with cheese. Yes, thank you. Thank you. This one is a cooked, uh, very well cooked salmon aburi. Um, it's a, uh, I guess, baked salmon with cheese on the top. Conti's baked salmon, yeah? yeah. So it's okay, it's decent, yeah. Enjoy. I'm trying this Saikoro steak. It's supposed to be Japanese tenderloin beef. Mm. It's definitely Wagyu. I mean, something not Wagyu because it's not so tender. It doesn't melt in your mouth like other places, but it's a little bit chewy. For the price, I would have expected a lot better. I probably wouldn't order that again. Started on the mixed tempura. Mixed tempura. Okay, let's hear that crunch. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That is okay, but if it's Nihon Bashi better. But it could be better, yeah. What's wrong with it? It's too much flour. Too much flour. It's too. <laughs> What can you say about that tempura? It's good. It's crispy. What was your favorite so far today? What did you like the most? Shrimp. Hmm? Shrimp. What happened to your voice? Why is it so small? <laughs> Louder so they can hear you. I can. You're the baby. Okay, I'm gonna try the mixed tempura. Let's see what did I get? So that's an eggplant. They are in the Talk to me. This one is a sweet potato. Batter's crispy, but yeah, it is a little bit thick.
rice with sauce with egg. Okay. What kind of sauce? It's Curry? It's a savory sauce. Yeah, but it's all rice. And the egg. Also, So Xana's having the special Fuwa Toro tension hand. So. <laughs> it's I guess it's like it's kind of like an omo rice. rice with uh, sauce. Um, I love this egg. Oh my gosh, it's so airy, it's so gentle texture. It's kind of like a chawan mushi, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Super. Silky. Silky smooth. Well, as you can see, I've, we've practically demolished everything. Um, I'm down to my last of the original gyoza. This is that's the last one. Sauce on this, the truffle sauce. Oh yeah. Don't get over it. Truffle gyoza sauce. Right, my sauce. Last letter is. Mm. That was a truly delicious meal. Um, I practically enjoyed everything that I ate. Uh, the weakest dish was probably the Saikoro steak. Uh, the beef could have been more tender, but aside from that, everything else was quite decent. Babe, what did you like the most? I like um... the egg or the gyoza. Gyoza with the truffle. truffle oil, and I like. Omurai, that rice was there. Ah, and salmon The salmon, yeah? Also, yes. How about you, bro? My favorite, I love the truffle oil gyoza. gyoza. It's really great. Amazing. How much is it? 540 for 12 pieces. <laughs> okay. Alexandra, Alexandra, wait. I know you made a new friend, but what did you like the most? This. Tempura for Alexandra. That's always her favorite. Yipo? No. Because <laughs> she wants to eat what? Gummy bear. <laughs> well, that's it for now. See you guys in the next video. If you're on a budget, they also have a special afternoon delight menu offered from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays, so you can try some of their specialties at a huge discount. Welcome to Marikina City in Metro Manila. President Ramon Magsay Sai declared Marikina as the shoe capital of the Philippines in 1956, as this city produced close to 70% of all shoes in the country, and we have previously featured the Shoe Museum, featuring a collection of Imelda Marcus's shoes. Today, we check out one of the newest malls in the area, Ayala Mall's Marikina Heights, which was opened in November 2017 and is located around 50